Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Addison Ray with 972 rating versus Ichiban with 722 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and we're going to see Ichiban go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we have Scareclaw, Kashira, Prosperity, Imperm, Birth, and Book of Moon, they have Fenrir, Lady Labyrinth, Welcome Labyrinth, Prosperity, and Sprite Jet, okay, um... Yeah, uh, fair enough. Was not expecting to see Sprite Jet in that hand as the last card, but they're going to go Special Summon Fenrir Effect. They said that's okay. So Fenrir, go grab Fenrir. Pretty much tells you it's not cash, and it's just a Fenrir little package. Prosperity for six. Um, okay, yeah, Mannequin Cat, all that. And then look at the top six. See, like, Dark Ruler, Starter, Carrot... Um, I don't even know what you grab there. I, I have no idea what their deck list is looking like. Okay, they're gonna grab starter. I was gonna say, like, if they only play, like, one sprite speller trap, then you might not grab starter just because the jet can't search. But at the same time, maybe you play double cross because it works with the labyrinth stuff. So they're gonna bring out blue from deck, activate the effect. They said okay. So blue, go search for red. And then special summon red, special summon jet, activate the jet effect now to go search. They said okay. So jet's going to grab double cross. Yup, definitely in the deck. Uh, use those, go for sprint. No way. Oh, wait a second. Oh, sprint's probably not even dumping angler, huh? It's probably dumping Stovey Torby. Or it's dumping angler and their deck list is just even more insane. Uh, but they're going to overlay Sprint and Red, go into Gigantic, and then Gigantic Effect, Attach Go Special. So that's going to bring out the Stovey Torby. Stovey Torby Effect, Discard, Go Set. That's cool. They're going to set Big Welcome, Set Welcome, Double Cross Pass, they draw Dark Ruler, but it doesn't even do anything against this board. All it does is take out the Fenrir, pretty much. I mean, it halves the attack of Gigantic, which could come up. But not the most impactful Dark Ruler you could have. Um, okay, so they accidentally banished 7. Okay, there we go. So, look at the top 6. They see Planet, Cosmic. Yeah, they're going to go ahead. They're going to grab the Pressured Planet there. Put the rest back to the bottom of the deck. So, this is looking a lot like... Uh, well, actually, I don't know. With the bear in there, it's a little bit harder to tell. But well, I was going to say, this kind of looks like Cam Neal's going second Cash Tira deck. Also, yeah, Imperv is in the grave. Um, activate Pressured Planet. Pressured Planet goes search. Grab out Unicorn. Activate Dark Ruler onto the field. Activate Book of Moon on to Gigantic now to make the double cross not live. Uh, then Special Summon Unicorn. Activate Welcome Labyrinth. And then Welcome Labyrinth's going to summon Lovely. And then activate Lady to special, then activate Big Welcome, Chain Lady, Set Eradicator, Summon Ariana, uh, Bounce Back Fenrir, New Chain Link, Lovely 1, Ariana 2, uh, well I guess Unicorn 1, okay, Unicorn 1, and then 2, 3, 4, okay, okay, Special Summon, go grab Ku Clock, they're gonna rip a card from hand, hits the Scareclaw Cash Tira, they rip the Gigantic, and then activate birth. Um, they haven't even used unicorn effect yet. But if they use unicorn right away, then they get hit with eradicator, which hurts a lot more. So you have to activate birth first. Okay, yeah. So you need to get your birth summoned for free, and then you can unicorn into theosis, which then probably just gets you hit with eradicator. Uh, yeah, they're gonna go Ku clock effect. And then they're going to activate Eradicator. Cannot tribute that. It only has 16. Yeah. It it only it only has 32 if it has the effect that lets it gain attack. Um, they said, I know you contribute set. Okay. There's no way we're doing this. You contribute set monsters or any other cost. So I contribute a level. Or set level 2 for character red. Yes. Or set wing beast for Icarus attack. I know you contribute set monsters. Oh, uh, this is all Addison's Ray fault. Like, why can't they just say it only has 16 attack? Why do you have to let it go this far? It literally does not matter. It might matter. I am not sure if it's correct, and the judges exist to respond to even the stupidest questions. 
Why don't you just answer it then? Oh my gosh. I don't want to sit here. I can just change my tribute. Okay, do it. It's so dumb. Like, to act like that on DB rated, you can't just tell your opponent. It only has 16 attack well set. It doesn't have the like, effect of getting attack. Like, how much you want to bet that was like 5 minutes? Uh, yeah, that was like 3 minutes of them arguing just because they couldn't tell their opponent how it was supposed to work. Which is just crazy. They're going to make Mountain Smasher. This lets them go into the double Zeus because they get to attach. And then go into Zeus. And then Zeus effect. Go ahead and wipe the field. Yup, pass. They draw Ariana. That's a crazy draw. They're going to go special Fenrir on summon. They're going to Zeus wipe. And then normal summon Ariana. Ariana, go grab Lady Labyrinth. They have big welcome. Um, they could special summon out Lady and then Big Welcome, Bounce to Zeus, Welcome, Set Itself, Stovey, Torby, Special. Um, doesn't sound great, though. You just don't have an interruption then, right? If you do that, all you have is Lady Defense, Stovey, Welcome, Set. There's no interruptions coming from that. Oh, wait. If Stovey summons itself, maybe we have, like, a play with our Sprite stuff? I wasn't even thinking about that. Big Welcome, Bounce. Welcome, Stovey, Special, Set, and then, let's see, from here, they're going to go Battle Phase, Attack for 16, Pass. Okay, yep, never mind. Um, I thought the play was going to be a little bit better. Um, I don't know, maybe, well, actually, I don't even know how much engine we play in the deck. I was going to say, cause, well, okay, assuming it just has, like, regular Labyrinth Engine, which it probably has less than a regular Labyrinth Engine, um, we could have went ahead and grabbed, like, Big Welcome Labyrinth, and we could use Big Welcome Labyrinth, bounce back our, Ar our Ariana, and then get Welcome and Stovey special set, and then we lock them with Zeus on their field, so they can't, like, top deck Unicorn or anything like that. Yeah, uh, Prosperity just gets ripped because of Eradicator. And then Activate Lady, Chain, we'll Activate Welcome, Chain Lady, set Big Welcome, someone out Chandelier, yeah, 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 they definitely had a better play. Um, you shouldn't have let your opponent attempt the top deck, a unicorn there. They're going to draw carrot, switch to attack. That wasn't even game, right? That was like a little bit off. Oh, I guess they have big welcome, so that's just game. Yeah, 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 yep. But on to the next game, we're going to see Addison Ray go first. We got Theosis, Birth, Anti-Spell, Unicorn, Big Bang. Okay, so obviously drawing Big Bang kind of sucks. Drawing both spells with Unicorn kind of sucks, especially when we're under Anti-Spell next turn. Then they have Blue, Jet, Starter, Fenrir, Ariana, so no hand traps. Kind of expected from their deck. Uh, they're going to go Special Out, Unicorn, Unicorn Effect, grab out Theosis, okay. Um, Theosis bring out Fenrir, Fenrir Effect now, go grab out Rise Heart. They did draw Big Bang, I was going to say, so maybe they're not going to try to go for like this big crazy line. They banish Red, Stovey Torby, and Big Welcome. Overlay, go into a Rise Heart, and then set Big Bang, say Anti-Spell Pass, they draw Fenrir, draw phase, activate Anti-Spell, if they chain Starter, then they can't Special Fenrir, so then now they're going to go Main Phase, Special Summon out Fenrir, and then Summon's Fine, activate Fenrir, effect to go Search, and then that's going to grab Fenrir, um, yeah, I wish there was like, maybe like a Coup Clock in hand right now, or something to force the Arise effect, so that way we could Fenrir, but who cares? I mean, battle phase is like fine. Uh, they're gonna go start a battle phase, arise, banish, and then arise effect to attach, and then end the battle phase. Imagine they'd evenly. Special Fenrir evenly wouldn't even be that good though. Uh, they're gonna go special Fenrir, normal summon out jet, special summon blue, blue effect go search, blue is gonna go grab jet, and then special summon jet, jet effect. I I think they kept double cross in feel like they kept that card in yep um they do have big bang that could be activated which just like hits so much there and then arise and big bang both activate here so now they get access to their fenrir and they get to attach the osis and then they're gonna go fenrir target their fenrir to banish it face down arise heart effect attach big bang set starter double cross and then pass draw rise heart switch arise heart to attack Beat over, and then a rise effect to attach. This card's so crazy. 
And then main phase two, normal summon rise. Also, it's still just like, I don't know. I, I don't get why they didn't set any of their spells when they knew they were going to anti-spell, but it's because of evenly? But it's like, I don't know. That's kind of it's kind of a rough spot there. I don't I still don't agree with the add of the second Theosis. I would have just grabbed another birth. Game three, we're going to see the Labyrinth Sprite deck go first. We got Theosis, Prosperity, Terraforming, Shifter, Dark Hole. They have Prosperity, Starter, Gozen, Stovey, Torby, and Lovely Labyrinth. Activate Pot of Prosperity, go Banish, they said okay. And then, looking at the top six, um, that's rough. I don't even think you need to grab Sprite cards though, because you have Starter. So it's probably just grab Ari. Yeah, it's probably just grab Ari. So grab that, put the rest back to the bottom of the deck. Like, you really want your Labyrinth engine to go well here too, because you have a Floodgate to go with it. I mean, I guess the Gozen kind of works with the sprite cards. Like, they're all dark. Well, I mean, some of them are dark. I'm going to Ariana, grab Ku Clock, activate Ku Clock. They said, sure. And then now we're going to go Stovey Torby, discard itself, plus Lovely. They said, sure. Go set Big Welcome. Ku Clock, special summon out. Activate Big Welcome, chain shifters, so that way the Big Welcome doesn't hit the graveyard. They can't reset it off Lovely or use its graveyard effect to bounce. They're going to summon out Lovely from the graveyard, bounce back Ku Clock, Lovely effect, Stovey Torby effect. And then we're going to special summon and, you know, just hand rip. Uh, hand loop a few cards. Lovely Labyrinth is just Omega 2.0. Hit Terraforming, activate Starter, and then Starter bring out Blue. Blue effect go search, blue grab jet. It's crazy though, because even if they just had like a blue, it didn't even have to be starter. Just a blue would have worked with the Stovey Torby here. Uh, but yeah, special summon out jet now that was searched off blue. And then jet's gonna go grab double cross. Okay. Um, overlay, make gigantic, gigantic effect, attach. Does this just summon like carrot pass? Probably, right? Yeah, summon carrot. Oh, link into IP, okay, okay, and then set, now pass, so maybe there's something really cool with this IP, because to get rid of your Ariana and your Stovey Torby, even though those aren't the greatest cards there, uh, especially under Shifter, has to be something really good to go for, oh, they draw a dead Shifter, okay, activate Pot of Prosperity, go Banish, so Banish 6, look at the top 6, and then this hits birth. Yeah, I mean, there's no cash cards in our whole hand. We can't break anything even if we tried. Um, to be fair, even if we did hit, like, I don't know, Unicorn. Like, we go Dark Hole, they go Carrot Negate. They go Special Summon Unicorn. I mean, Double Cross could take it. Goes and just beats it, though. Let's say it's Fenrir, they just double cross take it. But they're gonna grab Book of Moon. And then they're just gonna go Book of Moon, Dark Hole. And I mean that's that's not bad. That's not bad. Book of Moon on Kara. It's not great though. Remember, like, they're still gonna have the IP. I mean like whatever the IP goes into. What that's crazy. They had nothing good to go into? You could just activate IP, you summon, I don't know, random link monster, and like, boom, that's good. Or even just like a random link too. Yeah, like if you summon Sprint there, Sprint's even good. Because Sprint lets you double cross be live, which is decent. Oh my gosh, stop top decking Ariana. Summon, effect, and then that's just game. Oh... Yeah, they're going to grab Big Walk. I guess it's like a little bit awkward compared to normal because you lost your lovely. Your Stovey and stuff aren't engraved. Set Big Welcome. Attack for 16. And then they're just going to pass turn. Okay, doesn't try to do anything here. Uh, they draw a Lightning Storm. A lightning Storm in the back row. Chain Big Welcome. Summon out Lady. Bounce back Lady. Destroy the other sets. New Chain Link. Ariana to draw. And then that draws in the Lady. It's kind of crazy, because if last turn they were playing around Talons, this turn they played into it worse. Because last turn the opponent was at least under Pot of Prosperity, so they couldn't draw. 
this turn they're not under any restrictions so now they could draw you don't have any like follow-up with your plays like any any extra interruptions so if they go like special unicorn you just lose so like I don't get why they played it the way they did, but they're going to go summon Lady, pass, draw goes in, and then activate the Ku Clock. Okay, activate Lady, special summon out from the hand. Big welcome, bounce back Lady, Ariana effect to draw. That draws in the blue, and then special Lady, switch this to attack. Battle phase game. This got specialed by the Ariana, by the way, if you're wondering how it got out like that. Um, oh, it's also see Niv in their deck. Yeah, GG's. I messed up my Prosperity Banishes really hard. Yeah, it's just like, if you banish like Avermax, Underworld Goddess, all that, it's just crazy for them to make IP. But yeah, they just messed up with it. Okay. And then, we see that the match is about 36 minutes long. Uh, pretty normal match length. But this was a very interesting deck on this side. It looks like game three was just like, you know, literally just bricked. And there was nothing they could do. Even Prosperity for six didn't unbrick them. And then the opponent just, you know, top deck Ariana. So they didn't even have time to like draw. They had like one turn. It's actually crazy. They did have one turn to draw on something good. But they didn't have like multiple, multiple turns. Which could have ended up happening. Uh, the opponent's deck is cool though. Summon Sprite Blue after special summoning Stovey Torby. It's probably not good, but it is cool. It's very funny. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.